the Buddha says you should make an island for yourself. Find something inside the mind that nothing outside can touch. And you do that by, by being mindful. Now, mindful, of course, doesn't mean you just sit there and notice whatever is happening. You're mindful to develop good qualities and mindful to get rid of unskillful qualities. It's that ability to keep things in mind that's going to protect you. It's all too often when an emergency comes and you lose your head, then all the good things you've learned just go out the window and they're not there to protect you. The Buddhist teachings are basically instructions on what to do in difficult situations so you don't have to suffer from them. And you want to have them at hand and you want to have them ready to use at all times, so particularly at times when you tend to lose your head. So try to keep your head on, keep mindful. You remember all the things the Buddha said about what things are useful only in the short term and what things are going to be beneficial in the long term. That, he said, was one of the duties of a good teacher, and to remind you of how long-term happiness could be found through your actions. And so you want to remember those instructions. So if you find yourself practicing with the breath and you begin to forget the breath, you say, well, I'm losing my, my refuge, I'm losing my island. That gets you more on top of what you're doing. Because aging, Ill, aging comes, illness comes, death comes. But suffering doesn't have to come. We can have our island that's safe from those things. And we find it by developing the practice and keeping all the Buddhist teachings that are relevant to what we're doing right now in mind. And putting them to use where they most need to be put to use, i.e., right now. <laughs>